Well, I think winter time is upon us. And unfortunately, that little fella back there, time to get put away. So that's the plan today. I gotta do some running. I just spit on my camera. The plan today, I gotta do some running around. I gotta get some parts from Canadian Tire, some stuff to winterize the boat. Uh, yeah, it's time. We may take it up one more time this afternoon. I gotta run some stable through it and put some fogger down the carburetor. And then I'm gonna winterize it. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, didn't bring the camera in the boat. The boat was awfully wet inside. We just went up the river back. The boat ran like a top. I haven't run it in a month. We gotta take the uh, carburetor cover off and spray the oil inside. Bit of a lineup down here at the ramp, which is why I didn't get to video any of the, uh, which is why I didn't get to video putting the oil in the carburetor and draining the boat. However, we did get it done. It's just a short ride up and down the river. Found the power steering was a little hard. As you can probably can't see that's whited out over there, but the, the musky fishermen are in the river pretty thick right now. So we just ripped up one side of the river down the other, sprayed the oil into the carburetor until the motor died, drained all the water out of the boat. We are back home. Not a lot of video from down the river. It was hectic. Like I said, all the musky fishermen were in there. Not everybody is patient when it comes to setting up cameras and getting the video that you think you need to get, and it's all good. I understand nobody wants to wait on me. However, so what I did do was before we went out, I got a half a tank of fuel in the boat. I got to put a little more in, but I put some stabil in. That's going to run through the fuel system, the fuel lines, get up into the carburetor, and hopefully stop that from freezing. Second thing I did was I uh, fogging oil. Sprayed the carburetor with fogging oil while I was sitting at the dock. Again, I'm taking time doing this. I pulled the cover off, took the breather off, sprayed the inside, put a liberal coating of oil in there. It chugged and chugged and chugged and then it quit. Chugged and chugged and chugged. Then it quit or did it chug and chug then quit? It doesn't matter, it quit. I put some fogging oil in there and it quit. So what that does, it seeps down in through the carburetors and in through the intake and then gets pushed out into the cylinders and coats the inside of the cylinders. Once it quits, that's it, just leave it because it's already coated the cylinders. You don't want to start it up again because it's just going to burn the fuel off. Last thing I did was I pulled the drain plug out. Man, I had so much water in that boat. That cover is not water resistant, waterproof, water whatever. It is not. 240 bucks and it's not. Anyway, the boat was full of water. So I had to run the pump the entire time we were out. Which is, I mean, I let it run for about 20 minutes at the ramp. But then I ended up going on the river on the river for about another 20 or 30 minutes. I had the pump run the entire time just to pump the boat dry. Last but not least, when I got the boat out of the water, I pulled the drain plug out of the back and it was empty. There was nothing coming out. However, I left the drain plug out. Yes, I will put it back in before it's stored, only because I don't want the mice getting in there. Alright guys, it's been a couple of days since I got a chance to finish the winterizing of the boat. Now, I've just jacked up the front, so we got a bit of a slope to the back. So, whatever water's in the hull... It's just gonna run out the back plus I Gotta take the plugs out of the bottom of the motor Which is gonna drain the water out of the motor and then I'm gonna fill it with antifreeze All right guys, I'm gonna apologize in advance for the shaky camera work. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this uh, I don't have much room for a tripod here. So first thing we're gonna do Is we're gonna take off this hose clamp all you need is a simple screwdriver I'm gonna take that off a little bit of a little bit of water is gonna drain out And then I'm gonna undo the plugs down the bottom which are two plugs on the right hand side over here. All right, so we take that hose off. A little bit of water is going to come out of here. I'm going to take this hose here off as well. Alright, I got those broke loose. 
They're on there a little harder than I thought they were. Now we're going to go to the bottom right. And there's two drain plugs down there. I'm not sure how well the camera's going to do here, but I'll try and get you down there to have a look. Okay, so right there, that's one drain plug. And right on the bottom side here, behind this wiring harness right there, that's the second drain plug. We're going to open both those up. Let the water drain out of the engine. We're going to put the plugs back in, fill it with antifreeze through the hoses that I disconnected. And then we're going to drain that out again. All right, guys, so I got this one here loosened off. Just try and take it right out. We're gonna let that drain all the water out. And it's going right out the back of the boat after it splashes all over the side. So that one there is draining the lower end of water. The other one's gonna drain the manifold of water. So we gotta get that one out next. All right, I got the other fitting out of the manifold. It was, it's a brass fitting. But I'm going to show you what happens when you don't use the proper tools. Hopefully you all can see that. That was a nut. Now it's all chewed because somebody didn't take the time. They decided they wanted to use a pair of pliers on it. As opposed to proper tools. The thing's almost round. I'd use vice grips to get a grip on it to get it out. Anyway, let's have a look at where we're at. Okay, so I put that other brass fitting back in here. It just finished draining. This one here is just a drip. Now it should be uh, coming out a little more than that, I believe. Sometimes the holes get plugged up. You just put a piece of wire up in there. Wiggle it around a little bit. Hopefully break something loose and it'll come out. Let's see if that works. And that's exactly what it was. Drain hole was plugged up a little bit. All I did was stuck, stuck a small piece of wire in there. Wiggled it around a bit. A little bit of crud came out. And now the water. All right, so the other thing I forgot to mention is to put the outdrive down you can see what's left it's just a little bit of water come dripping out of there it's because it's coming out of the outdrive so truth be told after I put the outdrive down I didn't get out of the boat quick enough to capture the water coming out see all you got was a couple of drips anyway I got the drain plugs back in only thing left to do is pour the antifreeze in we'll fill it up with the antifreeze then we're going to drain it out again, and I'm going to put some more antifreeze in. What this is going to do is help dilute the water in there. Because as most of you know, that uh, in the wintertime, when water freezes, it expands. So I want to get it out of the hull of the boat, and I want to get it out of the motor. That way we don't have any issues come spring. All right, guys, so all I'm going to do now, I've got this uh, RV plumbing antifreeze good to minus 50. It doesn't really get minus 50 here in Ontario, unless you're in northern Ontario. But here in southern Ontario... It very rarely, in fact, I've never seen it that cold. Minus 25 I have, but not minus 50. All we're going to do is fill the hose. And it may or may not come right back out here. Just started to come out. Okay, and there we see it coming out the bottom here. Well, that means that we got it all the way through the system. Now we're going to switch over to this hose right here. And it too should come right out here. All right, so that's full. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna undo the drains, drain this out, cause that's gonna dilute some of the water that's left in the block and it'll drain out the bottom. When I put the plugs back in, I'm gonna put what's left back into the motor. And then if there is any water left in there, that'll help dilute the water, therefore it won't freeze. All right guys, you'll know when you got it all the way through the motor, the antifreeze I put in was orange. What's coming out is orange, so it's already, it's been completely through the motor from the top to the bottom. I'll take the other drain plug out now and it'll be orange as well. All right guys, we got the block is drained. Both plugs are back in, it's been flushed out. So I gotta get another gallon of antifreeze. I'm gonna put some in the lower end back in the top end as well. 
that way any remaining water in there will be diluted by the antifreeze that way it's not going to freeze up on us and cause us some major problems come springtime so just about done Gotta go get more antifreeze. All right guys, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, by the way, I did drain the water out of the lower end. I do have some wet carpets and just a little bit of water in the hole. You gotta make sure you get your carpets dry and shot back the water out of the hole. You don't want any water in the bowl whatsoever. And we're gonna double tarp it to put it away for the winter. So not really that hard. Take out a couple of drain bolts, fill it up with some antifreeze, make sure all the water's out. You should be good to go. Really wasn't that hard and I saved myself 250 bucks. I got to buy a gun with 250 bucks. Never mind. She's watching, so never mind. Anyway, don't forget to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. I better go. Later. That wind's a little cold, eh? That's why they call it a lake, it's water. Ain't none of you gonna melt.